to another video. You probably know this, but Pokemon has been releasing a lot of different collection boxes. Um, some of them are actually really similarly priced, but the stuff that you get inside is very, very different. Uh, so today I'm going to be comparing two specific boxes, uh, the Zoroark Shining Legends GX collection box and then this Team Skull collection box. And I'm just going to be talking about some ways to like smartly use your money when you're d trying to decide which products to buy. And I'm just going to be comparing these two. Um, so yeah, anyways, let's get to opening. Okay guys, so here's what the first box looks like. This is the Team Skull Pin Collection Box. And obviously with a lot of these boxes, it's just gonna come down to personal preference. Um, is, is gonna be the ultimate decision. Like for example, if you really like the promo cards in this one, you're probably gonna go with this one over the other one. Um, but as far as retail is concerned, by the way, you can pick these up from over the top TCG, but as far as retail is concerned, um, these retail at like Target and Walmart for like $35, uh, whereas, uh, by the way, look at this. I just realized that's totally, I did not realize they did that. Um, but yeah, the Zora collections are slightly cheaper. I think they go for around $30. Uh, so there's a slight um, pricing difference. This is very extra, oh gosh. The camera is frozen. Okay, this is very like fancy packaging. It's like you can see the Team Skull logo here. I don't know why they really did that. Um, I feel like half the people just throw this plastic stuff away once they open it. But hey, you do you, fam. Um, but yeah, like I mentioned, uh, you can pick these up from overthetoptcg.com, fantastic website. Um, they have a lot of other stuff you can pre-order as well. Um, but as far as like Pokemon is concerned, they're releasing so many products these days. I feel like it's not reasonable to like plan on like picking up every single one like that's just is not gonna happen um, unless you have like a crazy large budget or something like that or you know it's just it's, it's not reasonable anymore before you know it was already you know crazy to, to try and pick up everything but now it's just like actually impossible um, so I, I feel like when now that we're in this situation uh, we have to be smart about like how we spend our money um, so first of all you go to cheaper websites um, I think one major thing is you know when you order this stuff online, it's actually a lot cheaper than picking it up in stores. Um, anyways, back on topic, here's the four different promo cards. They look fantastic. Stick them right here. Now, in both of these boxes, you get five packs each. Um, and again, personal preference comes into play, but in general, the Shining Legends packs are worth more. So on that aspect, I feel like uh, the Shining Legends like Zoroark collection box would be a better purchase. Um, but you do get the code card, you get the pin. Um, some people really like pins. Uh, in the Zorak box, you only get like a coin. Um, but yeah, I guess we can just go through these packs. Um, as far as, you can also like consider like, what cards can you potentially pull from these? Um, right now, since Shining Legends is new and it's um, you know, a really, relatively you know, expensive set, there's a lot of really cool Pokemon in there that I just did, I just did the wrong card trick. I did four to the front. The rare is a shift tree. The reverse is gonna be a camera up the rare. I totally messed that pack up. Um, but yeah, with, with Shining Legends, you're guaranteed hollows in every pack, so I feel like if, I, I don't know, personally, I, this is going to be a biased opinion, but I feel like the Zorark box is a better purchase. Um, but another thing to consider is just like the value of the promo cards. Um, these promos, like, they're cool, they're great, you get four of them. With the Zor bo Zorark box, you only get two. Um, but in general, the Zorark promo is worth a lot more. Um, so, like, right off the bat, that sort of, like, offsets the the price of, of the box a little bit more if you were to pick up a Zoroark box over this one. Um, but yeah, there's just little things here and there to consider like that. Um, I think ultimately you need to make a smart decision um, and also you need to be, be making responsible decisions. Don't buy too much stuff where like you can't afford anything afterwards. You're like Pokemon cards are not everything and I know that that's something I really struggle with. Um, I, I spend way too much money on Pokemon cards. Um, but yeah, I don't know, it's just be responsible about it too. Um, but yeah, alright, I'm just gonna op enjoy the rest of this opening now. I feel like I was trying to make this all deep and sentimental and it just it did not work. Uh, we have the Pan Sage, Prolong, Pikachu, hello there. Pampor, that was like five million monkeys in one pack. And an Electros, oh my gosh, guys. Is this gonna be like a, just a terrible box? I already, what, okay, I sincerely hope. Well, <laughs> well, four to the front, wow. Um, imagine if you spent 30 bucks on this and then, like, you got these pulls. This would not be fun. Two monkeys, though. That's, like, basically made up for it. Esper, Sock, Horsey, and a Scoliopede. Oh, that's just lovely. But, hey, at least the promo cards are cool. Um, the cool thing about picking up these boxes rather than just, like, you know, regular, um, let me pull those off to the side. Regular, just, like, um, 
you know, booster packs, like loose packs, is that you get the promo cards, so you're guaranteed something nice. So when you pick up these boxes, make sure you like the promo cards, you know? If you're trying to decide which one to get, you know, like, think, like, which promo cards do you like better? And I, I feel like some of that might be common sense, but, like, also, it's like, I don't know, like, just, you gotta plan ahead and know what products are coming. Just because something is out right now, if you only have the budget to buy one box, you know, it might be better to wait because you're like, oh, I like this promo better. You know, so just stuff like that. I think that, overall, the Zorwark collection box is actually a really good product to buy uh, because the promos are worth quite a bit already. And then Shining Legends is just a fantastic set. The chance of you pulling something nice out of it is um, it's pretty high. Um, so that's always good. So there's the Zorark GX promo. We have the Zorark Hollow, or Zorowa Hollow, my bad. Um, and then if we get, chuck that off to the side, uh, you also get this jumbo card that's sort of just sitting here. Here we go. The Z jumbo Zorark GX. It actually looks really nice. Um, I like that card. And then uh, we have the coin, which is just a Zorark coin. Ooh, ooh la la, look at that, that's so fancy. Oh my gosh, okay. And then you get uh, the five booster packs, all five of, oh gosh, all five of them are Shining Legends, um, which I personally like. I like Shining Legends as a set. I think it's a fun set to open. And so whenever I get an opportunity to open more of it, uh, I, I think that that's always a fun time for me. Um, I feel like sometimes with some of the older collection boxes, uh, they don't really, like, they don't really give you, like, newer packs all the time. And so, like, for example, in the thing we were opening up, like, we opened up a Breakpoint pack. And so, like, if you have already completed Breakpoint or got all your favorite cards from Breakpoint, then you don't really need to be opening up a Breakpoint pack, you know? You feel me? You feel me? But then again, also, like, Breakpoint is cool to open. So, like, if you haven't opened up that much Breakpoint, then maybe this is a good set to buy, you know? Just stuff like that. All right, we have a Volcarona, Golurk, Pokemon Catcher, Jinx, Plusle, Toracat, Totodile, Weasel, Totodile Reverse, and a Reshiram Hollow. All right, moving on, the Shiny Rayquaza pack. Uh, but yeah, with that being said, in the comments, please let me know which one you think is better. Which one's a better deal? Or would you rather just not buy any and then instead invest in... I don't know what people invest in. I don't invest in things, but... Maybe you do, and you can share your knowledge with the rest of the Pokemon community as we pull a Manaphy Hollow! Oh my goodness! Okay, sorry. Um, here is the Mewtwo. Ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la, ooh la la! Okay, sorry. I am being very obnoxious today. Ultra Ball, Damage Boover, Lily, Zorua, Golit, Larvesta, Scraggy, Croconaw, Mine in Reverse, Oh! Oh, what type of reaction was that? I don't even know. Oh, man, that's... Uh, <laughs> this n will never get old. I don't care how many packs I've opened, or how many packs I haven't opened, or how many times I've pulled this or not pulled this. This moment right here will never get old. Pulling a lovely, lovely shining card. Oh, man. <laughs> that's just fantastic. Okay, so we'll set that carefully off to the side. I think already this is a better box than the Team Skull. Um, but again, it's just, it, it comes down to personal preference. If you really like the promos in the Team Skull box, go for it. Um, I think that it's not like a terrible thing to buy it by any means. Um, but yeah, just wanted to give you my personal advice. Bulbasaur Reverse and a Raikou Hollow. And the final pack. Oh my gosh. Just lovely. I absolutely love this set so much. All right, we have a Fire Energy, a Scrafty, Damage Mover, How, Croconaw, Litten, Larvesta, Breloom, Torcat. <gasps> That's just lovely. <laughs> Reverse Water Energy, End of Verizion Hollow. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I think we had a pretty solid box right here. Uh, with that being said, thank you so much for watching, guys. I uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little comparison. I rambled on a lot. I apologize. I'm very bad at iterating my words and stuff. Um, but with that being said, I think we did pretty good. I enjoyed this so much, and I hope you guys did too. Feel free to leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section below. And don't forget to check out Over the Top TCG if you're interested in picking up any of this loveliness. Um, again, they are cheaper than re retail stores, so it's something to keep in mind when keeping a relatively modest budget. budget. Uh, with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Don't ever be ashamed to be you because you are your own type of beautiful. Bye, guys.